Hey everyone, so recently in a video I said that my goal this year for reading is 100 books this year, 2019, I want to do that. And I found over the past few months I've been reading much faster than I used to. So I wanted to make a video all about how to read more in 2019, so give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'm going to share some of those tips that I've been implementing. The first thing that I like to do is make a reading goal for that day, so I love to read every day if I can. I'll just make a reading goal. So if I'm starting a book, I'll say maybe I want to read up until 50 pages. Maybe I want to read half the book. Maybe I want to read the whole book. It just depends on what the book is, what the topic is, how big and large the book is, and how heavy the content is. Sometimes you know, you could flip through a young adult novel very quickly. If you're reading Steven Pinker, I might read that a bit slower. So it just depends on what you're reading and also how quickly you want to read the book. Either way, I like to set a reading goal every day, whether it's in pages or chapters. I like to put a second bookmark in my book and I'll try to get to that second bookmark. So tip two is you really have to put in the time. And this is with anything that you want to get better at. So when I put in the time for reading, I love to read in the morning. I also like to read throughout the day. When I'm doing other things, maybe I'm eating lunch and I can kind of have a book in my hands as well. I'll also read on my break. So let's say I'm editing a video and I want to take a break. I'll take that time to read. And I also love to read at the end of the night just to wind down. And you really do make quite a bit of progress if you do this every day. You can get through a book so much faster if you just stay consistent. So another tip that I have, and this is something I actually have not done yet, but I've heard other people do this, where they have the physical copy of the book or they have it on their Kindle or Nook or whatever, but they also have the audio version of the book as well. So instead of listening to music or a podcast, they'll listen to that current book that they're reading. And you could do this while you are, you can kind of multitask. I'm not not a big fan of multitasking, but you could listen to an audiobook while you're cooking or doing some household chores or while you're doing a workout. Maybe you're driving or you're on a bus. Anyway, I know I could probably speed through a book much faster if I had the audio file as well or the audio version. Uh, there's something about having a physical copy of the book in my hands. I just love that, but I can also, you know, I, I want to try this out this year. So the next tip is what I will do is I will read over doing other things. So let's say instead of scrolling through your social media, you pick up your book instead. Or instead of watching a TV show or a movie or playing a game, you pick up your book instead. You kind of make reading more of a priority. And it's not to say that I don't do those other things that I enjoy. If I want to watch a movie, I'll watch a movie. I definitely, if I do have a reading goal, especially for the year, and it is bigger than what I did last year. I think last year I only read like 60 books. So this year I really want to make it more of a goal to read more. So it's kind of more of a priority, but I still do enjoy those other things. But I just get so much more out of reading instead of looking at social media and things like that. So just saying, make reading more of a priority. Another tip is to always carry a book with you. So what I like to do is just grab a book and throw it in my bag and I'll take it out whenever I can really. You never know when you go out and run errands when you might have to sit and wait. So it's always good to have that book with you. And I've done this a few times where I've, I'm sitting and I'm waiting for whatever and I think, man, I really wish I would have brought my book. Sometimes I'm sitting in a waiting room or maybe I'm early to an appointment or an event or something and I just think, man, I really wish I would have brought my book. So what I like to do is always try to have one on me when I'm out and about and I'm just going about my life and you never know when you might just want to read while you're waiting. My next tip is to talk to friends and family about what you're reading because this will excite you to read more and to share about what you're reading and learn about other books that other people like. And this will also inspire you, I think. I've seen people online talk about books that they're currently reading, doing book reviews, also doing readathons where they read like a 24 hour, hour reading challenge. And I think that's so fun. And it does inspire me to read more and to also share about what I'm reading. And you might learn about a book that you, you haven't discovered yet. And it might be something you're really interested in when you talk to your friends and family. This could also be a book club. That's another tip is join a book club and you really get into more discussions and you're more interested, I think, and excited to read more. My next tip is to have a hit list. And this hit list will keep growing, especially the more you add to it, especially if you have a Goodreads account, which is something I'm going to talk about again here in a little bit. But I love keeping track of a list of books that I am eager to read, things that have come out this year. Maybe if you look through the New York Times book list or any book list, really, you'll see some of the new books come out, some of the best sellers, some of the best paperback books. You can look at book lists on people's blogs and articles online, and you can just continually add to your hit list. <laughs> 
but I keep a hit list on Goodreads. I've just been using Goodreads much more, so try to be better about adding all my books to Goodreads. And I'll put my link down below if you guys want to follow me. But definitely keep a hit list of books that you want to read because that'll also make you eager to read more and it'll encourage you and excite you to read more because you have like this massive, massive list of books that you want to get to. So it kind of makes you want to read more or it makes you want to uh, dedicate your time a little bit more to reading because there's so many books out there that you just want to get your hands on. <laughs> Another tip is to have a readathon. I love these challenges. I've seen some of these videos on YouTube where someone just has a stack of books that they want to read and they have a full day where they just dedicate to reading. And you know, if you're lucky to be able to do that, if you can make time to do that, uh, cause you know, your life, you guys are busy, but if you can just make one day and just dedicate it to reading, even if it's only for like five hours or something like that, it's not a whole day, but I think that sounds fun. And that's what I want to do this year as well. I'll also going back to Goodreads, what you want to do is just keep track of all the books that you're reading and Goodreads is a great way to do that because you can add the books that you've read, you can also add dates and you can rate and review books, you can add books that you want to read, you're currently reading, and it's a great way to keep track of all the books that you're reading and also your hit list of books that you want to read. Another thing that might be a challenge and it has been for me and sometimes it just is is sometimes you're reading a book and you just are very sleepy and you're tired and you could take a nap, you could take like a power nap. Um, but one thing that I really like to do is find an area where I can just sit up and this helps me read more and it makes me a little bit more focused on what it is I'm actually reading. So sometimes I will sit on the couch and read, sometimes I'll sit on my bed and read, but sometimes I find myself getting a little too drowsy, too sleepy, even though I have a book in my hands and I just started reading and I'm already falling asleep. Uh, <laughs> what I like to do then is just make sure I have some water, maybe some caffeine, but I also like to sit at our little island bar that's in the kitchen where we have a stool and it makes you sit up and it makes you a little bit more alert. So maybe finding a place in your home where you can go to where you know you're, it's going to be uh, less likely that you're just going to fall asleep. Um, so maybe that's your desk area, maybe that is in your kitchen area. Also having a bit of natural light coming in tends to help just keep you a little bit more alert while you're reading and I think this is something that just has really helped me read more. And the last tip that I have, and this is probably the most important tip because if you're not doing this then it's going to be much more difficult for you to read more. So what you have to do is enjoy what you're reading. You have to really love what it is that you're reading. Maybe you don't Maybe you're reading something for school, maybe you're uninterested in the subject, but you really have to find a way to enjoy what you're reading. And if you are just reading because you want to read more, if you have a hit list like me, where you just want to read more fiction and more nonfiction this year, and it's your own personal list, enjoy what you're reading. Because if you don't, you're not going to want to continue. And I don't think you should feel guilty for putting a book down if it's something that you thought was interesting and you started to read it and you're just like, ah, this just isn't for me. Or or this has happened to me a few times where I've picked up a fiction book and I've just noticed the writing is not good. <laughs> I've just noticed the book was poorly written and you just notice, oh, it's just kind of cringy. Like the writing just is not good. I would definitely say drop that book. You have a hit list of books that you really want to get to. Get to those books because you know what? Our time is short and there are so many books out there to read and to experience. It, I just find it, I just find it a waste of time to sit with a book that you're just like, oh, I just cannot take another page of this. <laughs> so that's a big tip. Enjoy what you're reading because again, your time is precious. So if you're making the time to read, if you're having that time of solitude where you can just really focus in on a book, you want to make sure it's something that you really enjoy. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Definitely give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I would love to know what videos you guys would like to see from me this year. I've had quite a few requests to do more videos on Islam. And that is something I definitely want to do more of this year and videos on religion videos on just current events and self-care, those kind of things. Um, but specifically, what would you guys like to see from me? I would love to know. I also really want to work on doing some productive videos. So maybe like a productive morning routine, productive night routine, maybe a study with me at home. I don't actually go to school, but I love to study and there are certain things that I like to study. So if you guys, if that even makes sense, I don't know. Uh, if you guys would like to see those type of videos, maybe like a time management video. I also want to do more videos on atheism, so it's just all over the place. 
food recipes, beauty, fashion, my channel's an amalgam of things. <laughs> Let me know down below because I would love to hear from you. So I hope you guys are having a good day and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, bye. Hey everyone, so thanks for watching. I'm gonna be adding more videos like this to my channel at least once a week, so subscribe and turn on that notification bell. And special thank you to everyone who has and is currently supporting me over on Patreon. I really appreciate your help. My Patreon link is below if you'd like to help support these types of videos. I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you all on the next one. All right, bye.